Welcome to our presentation for Design for Improved Ergonomics for Shot Blasting Operation. Our industry supporter for this project is the Temkin Company. The goal of this project is to continue the work from the Phase 1 team in correcting the ergonomic concerns the Temkin Company identified in their shot blasting process. The Phase 2 team has worked in getting the project back up to speed from the hindrance of COVID-19 during the last semester. The proposed solution has parts being magnetically removed from the bins and conveyed to the operator at an ergonomic height where they can then load the parts into the machine. The requirements and deliverables placed on Temp Ergo 2 is to reduce and eliminate the ergonomic concerns based on industry standards. The team is required to deliver a complete design package that includes mechanical and electrical drawings. The team is to deliver a standard operating procedure manual and the team is required to deliver a full-scale implementation ready model of the project. The performance specifications for Tim Ergo 2 are as follows. Parts will be brought to a height between 39 and 48 inches to be most ergonomic per, per human tech guidelines. A robotic arm will be used along with an electromagnet to pick up the parts. Parts will go through a demagnetizer to neutralize the magnetic field created by the electromagnet, and the proposed solution must be simple enough to be used by every operator in shot blasting. The design overview for Tim Ergo 2 follows as well. Parts will be placed in the same spot using physical wheel locating dishes. Combination of sensors controlled by a PLC and robot program will be used to determine the center of the basket. Uh, removal of parts in the picking process will use an electro permanent magnetic chuck fixed to a Fanuc R2000IB 165F robot. The robot deposits the parts onto an accumulation table to flow towards the operator. The parts also flow through a demagnetizer one at a time via the part escapement. After going through the demagnetizer, the parts flow to a smaller presenta presentation table and are presented to the operator at an ergonomic height to then load onto the shot blast tree. Photo eye sensors before and after the de demagnetizer will work in conjunction with the belt tables and part escapement to stop flow in the event of part backup. To overcome the ergonomic issues of bending, twisting, and lifting, we've designed a system that will provide parts to the operator at a height of 39 inches with a maximum reach of 15 inches. If an operator kept their feet stationary, the maximum arc of twisting is only 90 degrees. The operators are to load only one tree at a time, eliminating the carrying of parts. Machine guarding, along with emergency stops, are integrated into the design to ensure operator safety, along with other safety features such as the electro-permanent magnetic chuck. For part picking, we will use a 16-inch diameter electro-permanent magnet to pick parts out of a bin. Load cells will be used to detect parts, and a complete cycle time will take approximately 25 seconds. As of the 9th of December, Tim Ergo 2 has finalized the design of all major components and processes to Tempkin's standards. Tempkin has been provided with quality assurance and testing documentation. The team has also sent Tempkin and UNCC a preliminary design package including all relevant mechanical drawings and 80% of the electrical design package. This includes our initial efforts to code the FANUC robot and PLC, both of which will be completed during the winter break with assistance from Tempkin's robotics and electrical engineers.